Hey everyone, today we make the hair. Add a plane, add an edge loop down the middle. Delete one half and mirror it. Enable clipping and make sure the middle lines clip together. Position this face somewhere in here. Because of all my practice runs, I've got a general idea of how I want to do this. Select this edge and extrude out. Position around here. Extrude again and position like this. Select this entire back loop and extrude back. Select this edge and extrude down. We're essentially going to build part of a subdivided cube, so you could just subdivide a cube to make this shape if you're more comfortable with that. Extrude out this vertex and merge it on the mirror line. Fill in this space. Do the same here. Extrude this one down and make a face here. Add an edge loop here with Ctrl R. Shift stuff around to match the reference. Check the overall shape frequently and make sure it curves how you want it to. There isn't much geometry to move around, so it's not too difficult to control the shape. I'm trying to match this inner subdivision cage to the reference, not the actual mesh geometry. I'm also trying to pay attention to how my faces flow in every direction. When it's looking good, select these vertices and extrude forward. Move them around to about here. Select this vertex and extrude downward. Create a face here. Extrude out a vertex and merge it on the mirror line. Select this edge and search for subdivide in the F3 menu. Double tap G to slide this vertex. Move these two vertices forward and fill in these faces. Select these two vertices and join them with J. Create a new collection called Hair and put this new object in there. Name it Hair or Hair Dome, something that you'll remember. The actual mesh looks kinda off, but if you turn up the subdivision viewport display to 1, it looks pretty decent. Let's add some more hair pieces. Add a cube, in edit mode, scale it down. Scale down on the Z axis, and along the Y axis. Add an edge loop here. Select all, and position on the back of the head. Add a subdivision modifier. Add a mirror modifier, and use the hair as the mirror object. Select all the vertices, except for the middle loop. Scale down on the X axis. Move this loop back a bit. Just kind of move stuff around, and then duplicate this entire shape and move it over here. Rotate the original on the Z axis, on the X axis, and on the Y axis. All the axes. Move it around. Select and hide this one with H. Move some stuff around on this one. Select all and rotate. Get them positioned and scaled in here. Just try to make them look like the back of his hair. When you're happy with it, select all and smooth shade. Next is the front hair thing. Add a cube, position and scale it. Select this front face and move it back on the Y axis to about here. Extrude the front face forward. Scale down on the X axis and up on the Z axis. Extrude forward again a tiny bit. Move it up. Select these bottom vertices, pull them forward and up. Select and scale this face on the X axis. Select and scale this edge on the X axis. Select all and shade smooth. Select this object in object mode, duplicate with Shift D. Move it over here and scale down. Position it a little lower, and adjust the hair to match the reference. Add a mirror modifier and use the main hair as the mirror object. Turn up the viewport display of the subdivision modifier. Position these hair pieces where you want them and rename them. Let's make his sideburns. Some of the other objects might get in the way, so let's disable their visibility. Add a 32 vertex circle. Position it and rotate it by 90 degrees on the Y axis. Scale it down. I changed my mind and decided I wanted to use a 16 vertex circle. We could start over, but instead, select all and go into the select menu, choose checker deselect, hit X and choose dissolve vertices, and now it's a 16 vertex circle. Select all and extrude a face inwards. Scale down, extrude again, and scale down. Extrude once more, but this time merge at center with M. Rotate on the Z axis and smooth shade. Duplicate this piece in either object or edit mode and position it here. Scale and position to match the reference. In edit mode, with proportional on, do some fine tuning to this shape. Move a lot of this inner circle back to line it up with the reference. Select both of these objects and join them with Ctrl J if they are separate. Name it something you'll remember. Add a mirror modifier and use the main hair as the mirror object. 
We're going to make some major changes to the main hair object now, so it might be wise to copy and archive it. Apply all the modifiers from top to bottom. Select half and delete it. Add the mirror modifier back. Let's fill in the hole on the back of his neck. Turn on snapping, choose snap to vertex. Select and extrude out these vertices. And then create faces. Some stuff is a little out of place, so smooth it all out and try to match the reference. It can help while attempting to shape an object to look at how it's shaded. When you're happy with the general shape, add an edge loop in here and move this vertex a bit. Select this vertex and extrude it down. Create a face here. Select these three vertices with the middle one last, merge on last with M. Select these two edges and dissolve them with X. Smooth stuff out. That's looking pretty good. Select this vertex, move it down. Move this one up. Select this edge and subdivide it. Join these two vertices with J. Move this one in and this one down to about here. Select this edge and extrude it down. Position and fill in this face. Extrude and fill in a face here. Turn back on snapping and choose snap to face. Extrude this vertex down to about here on this hair object. Turn off snapping and move it off slightly. Create a face here. Turn back on snapping and extrude this vertex to about here. And this one to here. Fill in these faces. Extrude from here to here and fill in the face. Reposition. Select these vertices and extrude onto the face. Fill in the faces. Select all and shade smooth. Then recalculate normals outside with Alt N. I have some duplicate vertices, so hit M and choose merge by distance. Change snapping to vertex, extrude this vertex out onto this one. Change back to face and snapping. Extrude this out to about here, turn off snapping and move it closer to the head. Create a face. Extrude this vertex in and make another face. Time to retopologize all these hair objects into one. It'll help to be able to see all these solid objects wireframe. So select each object, go into the object properties tab, navigate to viewport display and check wireframe. Do this for all the hair pieces. I lost some of the footage for this, just create a copy of the main hair piece and use it as a base for the retopo object. All I did was add a few edge loops and extrude vertices out onto these back hair pieces. Select these faces and delete vertices. With snapping to face activated, select each one of these vertices and snap them to the front hair object. Move things around to make some space for this new hair shape. Select and extrude vertices out onto the hairpiece like so. Fill in these faces. Extrude out vertices and fill in faces. Create some manual edge loops using these hairpieces as guides. It's slightly difficult to see what's going on here. Just keep building faces. I'm attempting to use mostly quads. Select all and shade smooth. The official model's hair geometry overlaps, but I'm gonna try to avoid that. Make sure snapping is disabled. Select here and scale a bit. Select this middle hair guide and scale these faces down on the X axis to fit. Fill in a face here. 
Select this vertex, turn on snapping. Extrude out onto this hairpiece. Fill in a face here. Extrude to make faces. Select all, merge by distance, shade smooth, and recalculate normals outside. Now make it look like the other hairpiece. Select all and shade smooth. Create a face here and cut it in half with the knife tool. Snap this middle vertex onto his head. Smooth stuff out. Merge these three vertices at center. Turn off the visibility on all the hair pieces that we're done with. Ship these vertices back and disable the original hair's visibility as well. Cut in an edge loop here and do some repositioning. Extrude out some vertices and fill in the faces. Create edges with J here and here. Extrude out vertices and connect onto faces like so. Cut in some edges here. Subdivide this edge and join these vertices like this. Add an edge loop here and connect these two with J. Extrude this vertex around this shape like this. Fill in these faces. Extrude this vertex back and make a couple more tri faces like so. Now extrude out another loop of vertices. Fill these faces in. Select this vertex and delete it because I changed my mind. Fill in the remaining faces and move this vertex back. Do some smoothing. Cut in an edge here, and here, and match the reference. Continue fine tuning the shape. The shading around the ear could use a bit of help. Cut in some edges here. Dissolve this edge and this one. Reposition stuff until it looks good. I think that'll work. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Like or share the video if you want to help the channel. Next time we start on Mario's body. Love you all, goodbye!